Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some Fire Emblem Awakening. And, uh, just thought I'd hear that beautiful theme song one, one more time. It's just a really nice song. But anyway, let's begin. Um, actually, uh, before we get in, I do want to t give the Hubba Tester one last try. Um, not that there's, not that this is the final chapter or anything, not that we're gonna finish the game today or anything. <laughs> no, there's nothing like that happening. <laughs> anyway, let's just, let's just go chat with old Hubba for one minute. Also, I just woke up about 20 minutes ago, so if I seem a little out of it, you know why. <laughs> let's just see if all my pairings... Uh, we're the right choices. So let's start off with Krom, wherever the frick he is. Were they the right choice? Did I make the right choices? Do they love each other? Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, they're great. Way too attached and sees as dependable. You know, it, here's one marriage that'll last. Alright, I did good. I did good. Uh, what about Krom and Cleo? They're not harboring any feelings towards each other, are they? Hmm, just, just for Lucina, I'll do these two. <laughs> just so she knows there's- oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I was gonna say, just so she knows there's nothing going on. <laughs> <clears throat> Shut up, Papa, you don't know nothing. I sense an affair in the making of oh God, loins of fire, Jesus Christ. Ooh, okay, well, how about me and, how about Cleo and Morgan? How, how, how are me and my, how are me and my boy doing? Do we like each other? I gotta like my son, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Who will move out first? Oh, boy. Oh, God, okay, well. What about Krom and his children, hmm? Krom and Lucina first? Let, let's see. They, they must like each other, surely. Surely. They're the freaking characters on the box. Yeah, that's good. What a heartwarming family. Wants to snuggle, desires attention. <laughs> that's adorable. What about Krom and his other daughter, Shelly? Hmm? How are they doing? Oh, God. <laughs> on eggshells. <laughs> All right, well, you know, at least he likes one of his daughters. Jesus. Okay, poor Shelly. What about Shelly and her mom, Sully? Hmm? Surely one of the parents has to like her, right? Yeah, that's right. Separation anxiety. Look at that. Fatal attraction. Heartwarming family. Okay. And, uh, actually, you know, I am kind of curious. Lucina and Sully? Uh, how does she like her other daughter? Is she... Gonna be like Crom- Nope! Nope! The mother likes both the daughters equally. Okay. That's adorable. Crom, you have issues. <laughs> Alright, what about Cleo and Frederick, hmm? What about our main pairing here? Surely, surely these two have tons of chemistry, right? Oh, no. B budding friendship. <laughs> Keeping a distance. Oh no, can you say seven year itch? Uh, come on, shut up, Papa. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. We, what me and Freddy got? <laughs> you don't know it. You don't know. You couldn't understand. No one could understand. <laughs> Want to test another pair? Sure. Frederick and Morgan. Please tell me someone likes my son. <laughs> if I don't like him, surely the dad likes him, right? Come on, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy Bear. Freddy Bear, you like Morgan, right? Ah, oh, beautiful. This family's inseparable. Like-minded and way too attached. That's adorable. All right. Well, at least Frederick's a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm just too busy having an affair with Grom. <laughs> about my son. <laughs> Morgan and Lucina. 
How's my son doing with Krom's daughter? Let's not make them siblings. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this marriage is ready to crack. Hey, but she's the one who, who confessed her feelings first. <laughs> Aw, that's sad. Okay, how about Morgan and anyone? Just Morgan and literally anyone. <laughs> Morgan and Brady, huh? How are they doing? Oh no, not, nothing to come and not a dull moment. Well, that's fine. They don't really have much support with each other. I don't think they can get support with each other. A Wayne. How about Morgan and a Wayne? They're best friends, right? Surely they like each other? But <laughs> one of them is in for heartbreak. <laughs> Possessive, utterly baffled. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you're not the only one utterly baffled by a Wayne, Morgan. <laughs> well, we'll test Morgan and Cynthia, sure. Why not? They've only had one support together. Hey, they're good friends. They get along nicely. They're into the same foods and... She sees potential in Morgan. Nice. Um, how about Henry and Sumia? How are these two doing? Do they love each other? Do they still love each other? They profess their love on the battlefield. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. These two are doomed. <laughs> Dreads meeting. No ear for music. <laughs> well, you know, I can kind of see that happening. How about Na and Brady? They, they, certainly they like each other. I just paired them up. Right? Right? Come on. Best friend, not interested. Oh, no. <laughs> they got the same problem as Frederick and Cleo does, except uh, in reverse. Okay, um, that's fine. What about Vake and uh, Olivia? How about these two? Are these two getting along still? Okay, there we go. Would hold hands. <laughs> he would hold hands. <laughs> A true sacrificer. That's fiery. It's their first date. <laughs> okay, so Vake and Olivia are doing great. But freaking Cleo and Frederick aren't. <laughs> Come on now. Fine, whatever. Whatever. What about Libra and Marybelle? The two blonde people. How are they doing? The priest and the noble. Oh. Not into the hair. Well, you know, neither am I. I don't think anyone's into the hair. <laughs> Brady, you might not be born in this f in this future. <laughs> Churchy and Gaius, how are you two doing? Hmm? Still in the marriageable mood? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, mocks openly. Okay, well. Well, whatever. How about Lonk and Lissa? Surely they like each other. Come on, I have a feel. I have a good feeling about these two. Great feeling. Oh, that's nice. Would hold hands. Totally platonic. Oh, come on, <laughs> Lissa. What the heck? <laughs> whatever, at least it'll last. Alright, and I guess we have Kellum and Muriel, right? They're, they were one of my first pairings, I think. Come on, these two have got to like each other. They've been here since the beginning. Oh god. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, um... How about Donal and Cordelia? I think these might be the last pairing of the adults, right? Come on, they gotta like each other. They gotta like each other. Okay, good! They both want to snuggle! Yay! <laughs> uh, I think we're good. Alright, let's continue finally. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. I mean, not goodbye, because it's not the end. <laughs> it's not the end. Good lord, so many things are appearing. Like, a, There's like a million Annas. Look at that map on the uh, on the right. Look how many freaking Annas there are. What the heck? Alright, anyway, um... Let's go to the barracks. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start the barracks, I want to ask you guys a question. Now, I have a keyboard to the right of me. It's, uh, leaning against, uh... Chest. <laughs> but, um... So, it, so it's side... It's vertical. But anyway, I'm going to play a little tune, and I want you guys to guess what tune it is. Now, uh, keep in mind, this isn't gonna sound great because it's sideways, and I don't play keyboards sideways normally, but, you know, here we go. Alright, now it's your guys' turn to guess what tune that was. Here you go, you've got 15 seconds. Ooh, 15, count them. 15. One, two, three, four, five, 
15 okay time's up um let me i'm gonna i'm gonna zap in all of your results into my head you know telepathically grabbing them from the future mm, all right all right it looks like only 20 percent of you got the answer the answer is uh it's the monastery theme um from fire emblem three houses you know the da 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 Anyway, I learned that at like 1 a.m. on a Saturday or Sunday morning, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I'll bite ears, so don't judge me if it's wrong. <laughs> Let's go to the barracks. It's somebody's birthday? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's somebody's birthday. Whose birthday? It's Say Ree's birthday. I could care less. <laughs> I could care less. <laughs> The fight's five of me, it seems. Today I feel ready to cut down the fiercest enemies. Good for you, but we're not gonna use you because you are only level three because I didn't train you because I suck. <laughs> I've taken up the study of politics. I must do all I can to help my people help lead my people. Good for you. I personally hate politics. Speaking of politics, America is on fire currently. Politically fire. Yeah, metaphorical fire. Yeah. And I hate it. Let's continue. <laughs> From whence did this come? A dying blaze. Holy frick, thank you. Okay, that was actually useful. Great birthday gift, uh, whoever gave it to her. <sighs> Good morning, Cleo. Here to take a breather? No. I'm here. Well, yes, actually. We're about to go into battle, Rickon. <laughs> it may be our final battle. Oh my god. Okay. Lonkin and Yarn, what do you gotta say? What do you do when you need a distraction? I do self-preservation exercises in the woods. Gotta be ready for anything. Okay. Basilio and Frederick. Ooh. They're like the same height. I think Frederick might be taller. <laughs> Let's listen in. So, what do you do for kicks? I mean, when I'm not serving the shepherds. I gather rare mushrooms. Yeah, we all know you're high on shrooms, Freddy. Please stop telling the whole camp. <laughs> Say, Re, what you got? The fight's five of me, it seems. Today I feel, yeah, yeah, we already know. We already know. Say, Re, get out the frick out of here. <laughs> Lonk, what do you got? I, I thought a bit more about how to talk to women. I can do this. I can do this. Good job, Lonk. <laughs> Okay, do we need to look at the roster for any reason? I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's get the frick out of there. And, uh, you know what? Let's do support first today. No reason why. Just, you know, I feel like doing support first. Anyway, Cynthia and Jerome, you're up. I shouldn't have done it. It was cruel. What was cruel? How long have you been there? How long have you been hiding there? Uh, I've been here forever. If you, you would have noticed too if you weren't so completely lost in thought. If I were a foe, I could have lopped your head off without you ever realizing it. Lopped off your head, whatever. Yes, but in battle I would be much more diligent. And don't forget you're a proper hero now. You can't afford to let your guard down. It just looks bad. Who said I was a hero? Fool. Who said I was a hero? Apart from you, I mean. Oh, Jerome, you don't have to be so modest. I love you anyway. You love me. <laughs> yeah, of course I do, silly. Anyway, that's not why I came to talk to you. I have a question for you. A very important question. Hold. Return to the part about... To... Do you hate me? What? Why do you ask? Because I sometimes feel like you're trying very, very hard to avoid me. Tots. I find you difficult to be around. No! Oh, I knew it! I'm not finished. You have always been a perpetual ray of sunshine in my life. But sometimes a man like me wishes to draw the curtains and sit in the dark. Like a troglodyte? <laughs> Please don't misunderstand me. I don't dislike you. Your good humor raises people's spirits and dispels the horrors of war. You are a shining beacon of hope, reminding us there can be a better future. 
You light the fires of optimism and inspire us to keep striving. Gosh, you make me sound so important. More of this, please. But wait, I guess if you think that, you can't possibly hate me, right? None of your cro none of your comrades dislike you, myself included. Phew, that's a relief. Thanks, Jerome. We'll talk again soon, I promise. Wait, my point was that I do not want to talk. <laughs> they got support level A. Yeah, my goal was to get them S, but... It looks like that might not be happening. <laughs> I mean, it might happen. Who knows? Who knows? It could not be the last chapter. It might not be the last chapter. It's not the last chapter. I didn't say nothing. There's not... The, the word final isn't in this title. <laughs> Indigo and Noir. Noir. In a go, where are you? You can run, but you can't hide. Hmm, probably off chasing skirts again. I just hope there's no repeat of last time. Hmm. What happened last time? Eek! Ha, huh, doesn't feel good to be stuck up on now, does it? I figured turnabout was fair play, so I staged this little ambush. That's terrible, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, stop that. It was the girls, wasn't it? Your hyenas? Every poor defenseless girl I talk to runs off screaming in a hail of arrows. Tots. I had to make sure you weren't tricked again. Those were... Those were Crom's orders. Huh? Wait, Crom told you to do this? Well, kind of. I mean, he let me work out the details, but... Look, none of this would have happened if you hadn't been tricked last time. Lost, I was tricked. I... I don't... Remember the lady thief you invited to tea, the one who stole half our gear? When Crom heard about that, he asked me to start keeping an eye on you. I see. You're too trusting, Indigo. Crom is worried it may shorten your lifespan. You make me sound totally hopeless. I'm not some easy mark, just asking to get taken in. I was just... It was just one lady thief. Oh, well... On that girl cut purse, uh, the one with the glass eye. Ah, and then there was that band of female arsonists. But that still isn't a reason to open fire on me. What? I was just worried about you. We all worry about you. No, I, I guess I forgot about that stuff, actually. Guess I thought everyone else did, too. Repent, Impudent yeah. fool! Yeah. You offer apologies, but do you truly grasp the gravity of your crimes? You've been a burden on the commander and a waste of my precious time. I ask again, does your repentance match the scale of your misdeeds? Repentance. <laughs> speak now, lest I permit my arrow to speak for you. Good gods. Yes, yes, mom, I'm sorry. Honestly, I had no idea people paid that much attention to me. Blood! Blood and thunder! Ugh, <laughs> uh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I promise I'll be more careful. Wonderful. Then I'll be going now. We worry because we care, Inigo. So just take care of yourself, okay? Phew, I thought I was a dead man. I'm just glad she put the bow down before she lost it there. Woohoo! Support level A! <laughs> And Severa and Laurent. Oh my god, they're getting married. Why are they getting married? It's because, well, I didn't feel like she was. She and Owen were that great of a pair, and. Uh, that. I wanted someone else to get married, so there you go. <laughs> Excuse me? Sounds like our last procurement run was another rousing success. Indeed. And nearly painless now that I've grown accustomed to your quirks. These days, I feel like I'm even starting to understand your tastes. I don't know, Laurent. I'm a tough woman to figure out sometimes. <laughs> Believe me, there is much of you that remains a mystery to me. But one thing is clear. I ought never to go shopping alone again. Your help is invaluable. I do hope you'll continue to join me in the future. Hmm. Is something the matter, Severa? <laughs> you say you started to understand my tastes, right? But, can you guess what I want right now? Mother effing ring! <laughs> I don't understand. Is this a riddle of some kind? Are you going to ask me what is in your pocket next? I... 
you should be able to read me pretty well by now, right? So guess what I'm thinking? Hmm. Telepathy has been scientifically proven to be nothing more than the work of... Try! <clears throat> Very well. Dots. I suspect it's the same thing I'm thinking. And what might that be? I was hoping you would be my partner, not just in shopping, but in all things in life. If that were, in fact, what you were thinking, I should count myself a very happy man. Dots. <clears throat> Granted, that's less mind reading than more wishful thinking. <laughs> no, you're right on the money. Mm -hmm. Truly. Right. Yeah, truly. Ah, oh, well, that is a relief. I was skeptical of what would happen if I said all that, only to be rebuffed. <sighs> for someone who's always needling people, you can be so timid when it counts. Well, you'll never lack for brashness with me at your side. Huh, I have no doubts on that count. What a perfectly mismatched couple we make, eh? Great, yep. The, probably the weirdest one. <laughs> probably the most mismatched. <laughs> Alright, let's save our progress and <laughs> head to the other place, other freaking volcano. Origin Peak, chapter 25. <laughs> let's begin. <laughs> to slay a god. Really? Really? <laughs> Origin Peak. It's beautiful. The fell dragon is indeed here. Remember, Awakener, power I gave you cannot destroy Grima. I it see. can only put him back to sleep. Indeed. Correct, Fellblood. So, you know of my lineage. You possess power not so different from my own. We must find some way to break this unholy cycle. We can't just keep putting Grima back to sleep every few centuries. Otherwise, we merely will his vengeance on our descendants. Hmm. I may know a way. Yes, Cleo? You have some strategy? The yeah. other me claimed the dragon and I were the same, yes? If I strike the final blow, he'd be killed by his own hand. Technically. Cleo! Ingenious! Naga, will it work? Perhaps. But there would be consequences. Grima's heart and Cleo's are inexorably linked. Dragon and woman can no longer be separated. Therefore, slaying Grima would also cause the end of Cleo's life. I realize that. I am ready. There is a chance you could survive, but it is small indeed. You may have bound your heart to those of many others in this world. Of those, If those bonds prove strong enough, they may yet keep you in this reality. However, not even a thousand human friendships surpass the dragon's grip. In truth, you will almost certainly cease to exist. Dots... Cleo would, uh, Cleo would cease to be? No. Uh, we'll find another way. Crom, wait. You're not thinking clearly. Think about what your sister would have wanted. Emran would never have asked you to do this. What is one life when weighed against millions? Now I'm Spock. It? Stop it! You were always one of us. <laughs> Frickin'. Star Trek fan, you'll always be one of us. There has to be another way. We just have to find it. Promise me, Cleo. Promise me you won't do this. <laughs> Should I lie? <laughs> Cuz I'm doing it. <laughs> I can't remember if lying sets me on the wrong path, though. <laughs> it probably doesn't. <laughs> doesn't affect anything. <laughs> okay, good. I'm saying yes. I'm gonna lie to him. <laughs> okay, sure. I won't sacrifice myself. <laughs> You're right, Krom. I'm sorry. We swore to stand by each other, remember? 
We're two halves of a whole. Crom again, Frederick. You know what? It's clearly we're it's clear we're having an affair. Screw it. <laughs> I'm about to die anyway. <laughs> Not even a dragon can sever us. The time for deliberation is over. Awakener. Frederick deserves better. <laughs> the Grim Leal have found us. Father, we're under attack. Oh no, we're under attack. Oh no. Let me see what we are up against. 16, 16, 16, 16. Okay, they're level 16. That's pff, nothing. Oh, and a verse is at the end. Ooh, and she's got Gale Force. Well, guess what? Guess who also has Gale Force? Mother Effer, Cynthia. Cynthia just learned Gale Force, and I kind of forgot that she gets it. <laughs> But F you, Aversa. Cynthia's gonna murder everyone. That's right. Cynthia is my new favorite unit. I'm kidding. She's not my favorite. But God, she's getting up there. <laughs> all right. We all have stuff, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure we do. I fixed their inventory yesterday before I started recording today. Really now? Still at your little schemes, but Tring Validar wasn't enough? Do you see what your great struggle has won you? Nothing. Master Grima has returned. The world's fate is sealed. Or, or perhaps you simply seek a tender embrace here at the end. Hmm? I'm not completely cruel, you know. Come, I have a kiss for each of you. Okay, well, someone's a little nuts. Mm. Shut up, Naga, I get it. <laughs> Be swift, Awakener. Grimma's servants will harry you to the very last. You must reach the dragon before it's too late. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on a time limit. Who cares? Who gives a dang? I don't think we're on a real time limit. Come on, time limits don't ex didn't exist until three houses. <laughs> Why did I take Laurent? I always take Laurent by accident. You know what? It's fine. You have Severa. You have Severa now. <laughs> not that you do much for her, but you have Severa, so just just go with her. Why not? Morgan, you want to protect Crom? <laughs> and then Donald. Donald's Donald. He'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Let's start killing people right and left. Yeah, um, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> you, that is. It's not gonna hurt me. Farewell. Frederick, don't embarrass me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Freddy. There's no freaking bow people out here, right? There ain't no bow people. Don't be ridiculous. Go get him. Go get them, you two. You're super dead. Haha, -ha, Cynthia protected me. And lethality. Don't know what you just said. You know you didn't really need the lethality. Well, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> Pathetic. Thanks. The wing sounds in this game are ridiculous, man. <laughs> They're the one noise that I fight the most. Out of the music, the voices, the wing sounds are what I really fight, man. <laughs> I can't hear nothing over the... <laughs> Go get him. He's dead. He didn't need the soul, but whatever. He's gonna die. You missed. No damage. It's, you really don't need the soul. Get the soul later, when you're hurt, and you actually need it. Whatever. Nothing personal. Nothing personal, kid. Nothing personal, kid. Alright, sit there. Yeah, that's right, we aren't playing safe today. Will you be fine? I think you will. I think you will be fine, Brady. Oh no, does he have Meyer? Mother effort, I thought we were done with this garbage. Miss Freddy, why didn't you save me? It's fine. I forgive you already. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have a 7% chance to hit. Why did you pick us? Were your other chances just impossible or something? Like, come on. <laughs> oh no, he's coming for us. Freddy, protect us. Fred, thank you. I think no. 
Here's how it's done. Beautiful. I like the petals. There. <laughs> A little bit of Grima showed in that one, I think. Alright, Brady can handle you. You've got nothing Brady can't predict. <laughs> oh no. Thanks, Yarn. Didn't kill him, but good enough for Brady anyway. Another guy? Another guy come to try and test Brady out? Well, guess what? Brady's not gonna fall. Brady has a killer axe and he should be getting crits up the frickin' wazoo, but apparently he's not. <laughs> okay, you only have a 22% chance to even hit us. Ha! Ha ha. Oh no, I didn't even notice the friggin' Pegasus people back there. Oh well, whatever. Oh god, what? What? You can heal people? There's griffins too? Oh god. Oh, I didn't even notice the griffins. Oh frick. Thank you, Brady. I mean, you healed yourself. That's not really- I shouldn't be thanking you. What, whatever. Just, can you heal, Cleo? Using your physic. Thank you. Much appreciated, me boy. Screw off, little birdies. You're all doomed. I have a Rex Caliber. I have all of the strongest types of magic, except for dark. You're dead. Don't have the strongest dark magic because I am not a dark mage. I am just a regular one, but I do have wind, thunder, and fire. Strongest wind, thunder, and fires that I had. Um, Morgan, would you like to uh, join in perhaps a little bit? Eleven sword. Sure you would. Sure you would, Morgan. Ooh, and you got a Luna. Game over. Miss. Haha. <laughs> Dead. I don't really know what to do with you guys. Just sit there. Maybe I should have her held. I should have had her held a. I should have had her hold a short axe, because probably those, um, Pegasus Knights. Or dark flyers, I didn't really get to see what they were, actually. Now that I think about it, yeah, yeah, they got. Mm, I should have had her hold a short axe. God dang it. Well, whatever. This dude's dead. You're dead. Bye bye. Don't like you. That's one Meyer gone. Oh no. Oh, 15%. I'm so scared. 15%, my butt. Oh no, there's a third Meyer. Easy peasy is right, Cynthia. <laughs> you had a 0% chance to hit us. What a loser, as Lissa would say if she were here. Oh boy. Nope, nope, you missed. You missed with your stupid bow. Oh my god, I skipped everything. Okay, everyone's fine. We're alive still. Brady healed himself. We're all good. We're all great. I love a healer that heals himself. Okay, we have a lot of problems here. Kill this man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I need to start fast forwarding through this because we have other things to worry about than stupid Adversa and her stupid league of garbage people. Fine, Basilio, let's switch to you. I don't care that you have an axe and he has a whatever and whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want you to kill people. Brady, I'm going to watch you like a hawk until you get a crit. Please, for the love of God, get a crit. Why? I mean, you know, you didn't need the crit, but still, why, man? I just want to see you get a single crit before that killer axe dies on me. <laughs> on you, anyway. Okay, that's uh, all those people down, and uh, I need to run away because that's a little too hectic for me. Use a little concoction. Don't want to get too cocky. Okay, get up there. Get up there. Oh no, the enemies are upon us. They're coming to get us. Oh no. Oh no, they're coming to take us away. Ha <laughs> ha, they're coming to take us away. Okay, you're dead. D-E-D. -E -D. Dead. I don't know what you were thinking, but you're dead. 
Shouldn't have approached me or my son. <laughs> I don't have an armor. Frick. I don't have an armor anything. Okay, great. We're not gonna get a crit with a 5% chance, but, you know, let's watch it anyway, Brady. I feel like you just don't get enough screen time, you know? Bye-bye. That it? Thank you, Brady. Okay, you're dead. Wait, actually, you know what? Maybe I should leave that to uh, Severn. Yeah, yeah. Go for the Meyer guy. I'm pretty fly for a Meyer guy. Not. I hate Meyer people. They suck. And they can all go to heck. <laughs> Alright, the rest of you, come on up. Come on up. Come on. We ain't getting any younger. Go in the, go in the bush. Go in the bush, he has, They'll never get you. They'll never get you in the bushes. Oh no! Reinforcements! And they're armor people. Oh boy, I'm so scared. Yeah, yeah, you didn't hit. Oh no, they're coming for Cleo! They must really want to die! <laughs> oh no, they're going after my son who has 11 sword! They must want to die! <laughs> hey, I got a new physic. That's for you, Brady. Oh, it only has nine uses. <laughs> okay, you dead. Thank you for dying. Much appreciated. Okay, you. No, sorry, you're not Brady. <laughs> you. Uh, heal this boy. Thank you, Braidster. Love you very much. Everyone else, keep going up. Ooh, go on this fort. There's a sparkly over there I want. You two go into this bush. <laughs> Just hop from bush to bush. There's a sparkly up there I want. Eh, use that elixir, why not? Cleo, go over there, help your son out. Rally him and everything. Oh no, more armor people. They think that's impressive? That's just sad. That's just sad. No, you're not getting my son. You only have a 0% chance. <laughs> you're dead. Don't need to see that. You're dead. Don't need to see it. Everyone who comes to anyone is dead. That is how amazing we are. You guys were not prepared. Oh no, Freddy. There's three big boys in our way. Oh no, Freddy. They have a spear and a beak, beast, at, beast plant. Oh, who cares? <laughs> okay. I want the sparkly. And you a-holes are not going to prevent me from getting the sparkly. Okay, you're dead. Bye-bye. You guys need to go over there towards the sparkly because I want it. Alright, you two can handle a couple of armor people. Brady, will you get a crit on that 5% chance? Hmm? 5% chance crit? Hmm? Nope. Well, you got two, you got two chances. Okay. Well, you know, I believe in you. I believe in you, Brady. You'll get a crit. You'll get a crit. Oh god, there's mages and birds and oh, f I mean not birds. <laughs> Pegasus knights. Whatever. Mist. Oh god, what? What? Oh, mist. Okay, cool. Oh no, Freddy. It's a scary man. Yeah. Dual guard. F you, you're dead now. Pick a god and pray. See, Cleo, how can how can you not love that about Freddy? Now that's strategy. Now that's strategy. Pick and crom over Frederick and the stupid hubba tester. That hubba tester doesn't know nothing. Thank you, Freddy. Got stupid notifications that I don't need because I've already got them. I already got them on YouTube. I don't need the notification again. <laughs> the next day, you know. <laughs> My god, I already know I got a comment. I already know I got copyright claimed on a stupid Star Trek video. I already know. <laughs> oh, frick. Good old fashioned crit. You're dead now. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, you're dead. Bye-bye. Farewell.
Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, frick. Brady, that might be a little too much for you. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call in help for you. Because I think you need it. Yeah, go get him. Yikes. Okay, we might want to bring in even more help. You get the sparkly. What is it? What's this on the ground? Perhaps some lovely lass dropped it. Yeah, I'm sure a lovely lass dropped a po an imposing axe. Frick. <laughs> okay, send that to the convoy. Um. Yeah, you're dead. So screw you and screw your Meyer garbage. And you're dead, so screw you and your Meyer garbage. Hey, and I got a soul. Nice. And I leveled up. Level 19. Okay, what the frick? <laughs> I'm happy as a pig and sloppy I've gotten this far. <laughs> oh, Donald. <laughs> oh, Donald, are you sure that aptitude is still working for you? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get this because I want the sparkly. What have we got? All right, I'm gonna sneak some practice in. I did not need that, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Whatever. Go get him, boy. Go get him with Roy's blade, because Roy's my boy, you're my boy. Go get him. Well, you didn't die, but that's fine. Oh no, more people. A whole bunch of people. Oh no, I'm so spooked. Oh, hey, you actually hit... Ouch. No, you're gonna miss... Yeah, 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 we don't need to see the rest of that. Come on. Come on, I like surprises. I love surprises. Surprises are my favorite thing in life. If I'm not being surprised, I'm being bored. <laughs> you're dead! Bye-bye. Nothing better than a great grand old surprise. Okay, we need to not do that, because uh, I want Cleo to get to her. Okay, you're dead. Bye-bye. I hate you. I hate your guts. Alright, go up there, Cleo. Actually, I, uh, I do want Chrome up here, too, so, you know, it's good that Morgan and Chrome are right there. <laughs> Alright, you guys go back. Everybody go back. Don't worry. Cleo and Chrome can handle it. Uh, everyone down here is handling things, right? Yeah, they're handling things. They're handling things well. I know I said I was going to use Cynthia, but I'm still scared because she's only level 16. <laughs> Even though I know she could probably handle some of these people. But I'm scared. She is still a Pegasus Knight. And I'm still upset. I'm still scared. Oh, there you go. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. You're dead. And I got a soul, so haha. -ha. Oh no. Okay, could y'all, could you not? Could you just not? Alright, I hate having the stupid tomahawk garbage- Yeah, yeah, Basilio, just get out of here. You're fine. You're fine, you two were underleveled anyway. I'm surprised you lasted as long as you did. Honestly. Alright, um... Are we doomed? No. We're not doomed. I'm gonna switch. Cause why not? This isn't gonna hurt you, but why not? <laughs> Get him, Jerome. That's right. No! Aw, oh, you almost leveled up. Darn. Ah! Gale Force, mother effer! <laughs> Gale Force, mother effer! I, I should go I'm gonna use a weapon. Yes, I should. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use a silver lance. F you. You're dead. Get him, Jerome. Thank you. It's over? Wait, it's over? You leveled up to level 17. Yes. Good job, Cynthia. Okay. Brady. Kill this man. And can you please get a crit? Please. You have a 41% chance to get a crit. Get a crit. Please. Yes. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> I heard get busy on it. I don't... I have no idea. <laughs> but thank god, he finally got a crit. <laughs> okay, um... 
Yeah, I don't like how you guys are looking at us, so I'm gonna have Prom go up there. And, oh frick, oh. That's not a good thing, is it? Haha, <laughs> no. What about this? Hmm? Mm, you weren't expect- oh. Well, you know what I like to do when I'm in a situation like this? I like to save a little. <laughs> Let's do it. You aren't gonna get anywhere in life if you don't take a couple risks. Murderers, you'll pay for taking Master Validar from me. I lost my voice. Okay, well, you don't have any words to say to Cleo, that's for sure. Um, I think you might be dead now. So I guess we won't see what Krom has to say to you, but that's fine. Hey, Freddy Miss! Hey, look at that. You might actually, uh, ooh, thank you, Freddy. I think not. <laughs> hey, that's perfect. Thanks. You didn't have anything to say to Krom either. Well, you're dead now, so it doesn't matter. That could have felt better. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally, sweet death. Finally, the pain. Finally, it ends. All right, thank you for being a bright ray of sunshine in this battle. Uh, thank you for your Gotia. Uh, I don't really need it though because I haven't trained up Henry <laughs> or any of my other dark mages. You'd think a dark flyer could use dark magic, but no, Cynthia can't. Uh, she would need the um, the skill that Aversa has, which I forgot what it's called, but you know it allows dark flyers to use dark magic, and I don't think that's possible to give to her. <laughs> Anyway, Cleo and Frederick were the heroes. Woo! What's going on? What was that? Yikes, what was that? Sounded like some demonic sh 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 mumbling to me. The dragon's call. Oh yeah, the dragon's call is a hoo <laughs> Oh, frick. Hey, Grima, how you doing? How you doing, Grima? Oh, frick, I do not like your mouth. <laughs> I do not like Grima. We can defeat him. My lord, how does a man challenge a mountain? Oh, come on, Frederick. You challenge a mountain like every other day. Come on. Don't don't be so modest, Freddy Bear. <laughs> You'll be fine. Where would one even strike? The fell dragon has a weakness on the nape of his neck. Oh, well, the nape of the neck, Frederick. That's where you attack the mountains. <laughs> But that weakness will be guarded by his servants. I can send you on to the dragon's back, but the rest is in your hands. Then please, milady, and quickly, we would ask no more of you. Everyone, gird yourselves. One way or another, this ends here. It ends tonight. Okay, cool, saving my progress. End game, Grima. Oh, frick. Wait a minute. <laughs> it really wasn't the final chapter? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I looked it up at everything. I thought this was gonna be the last chapter. I knew we'd be on. Oh, I thought it was just gonna take us there without uh, freaking. <laughs> well, you know what they say. I'm finishing the game. That's what they freaking say. Wait a minute. We got support. And it didn't go in a wing. Well, I guess we can look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Ellie, what's rage? <laughs> oh look, the little boy is playing with his dolls again. Hmm. Do you see a doll here? No, you don't. That's because this is serious business. I'm honoring my psyche so I can grapple with the various beasts of the night. Well, at least you'll be grappling with something tonight. <laughs> oh, real mature. Now, is there a point to this visit, or are you just... Hey, don't read that. Is this your diary? It's filled with bad drawings of heroes and their weapons. Don't! The Manual of Justice is more- <laughs> I like how my voice cracked there. <laughs> the Manual of Justice is more than your mortal eyes can handle. 
Oh, that's just adorable. You even named the book and everything. Now let's see what we've got. Page one. Ewain. When danger nears, his sword hand twitches and his eyes turn red. Oh, come now. Really? Give it back! <laughs> Every alley hurt within a hundred paces adds a power multiplier. At plus five, a special move is unlocked that can fell the enemy boss in one hit. Well, that is impressive. I'm surprised you've even made... I'm surprised you even need a surround, frankly. Why are you doing this to me? We're supposed to be allies. Let's jump ahead here, shall we? Hmm, how about... Page 15, the awesome catalogue of ultimate techniques. The Axe of Dorcas, the Lagoos Leap. Dorcas is from Blazing Blade. Lagoos from Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance. Oh, you, draw f you drew flames around this name. Does that affect the pronunciation? Either stop reading or just stick a sword in me and be done with it. Oh, please, you're overreacting. Besides, genius of this ilk must be shared. I'll say this, your bizarre fantasy world is certainly robust. You go all out in everything, Owain, and in a way I respect that. Hmm. Really? This isn't just a way for you to make fun of me again? <laughs> Maybe there's hope for you yet. Damn. Yeah, see, like this right here, page 27, weapon names D through F. What's that about? Well, um, I guess it's kind of a mental warfare type of thing. Uh, but a sword is just a sword, you know, but a sword with a name is an ally. So I came up with a lot of possible names in case someone ever needs a suggestion. My, my. See, that's actually interesting. Oh. Are you sure you're not still making fun of me? No, it really is interesting. A little bit, not a lot. Really? Awesome! Wait right there! I'll get you a quill and paper and we can get started right away. Get me started. Um... Oh, and cancel your dinner plans, because this is gonna take a while. But spending weeks on Minuta is half the fun, right? Ha 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 ha. What? Wait, Wayne, I never... What have I gotten myself into now? <laughs> we ain't got time for you guys to write in your diary. We're about to get on the back of a fleet freaking flying thing. Holy frick. Let's go. Let's go in game. In game. It's an hour into the video. Don't care. This is going to be the longest chapter ever. Who cares? Let's go. It's Grima time. Oh god. <laughs> Wretched son of Naga, you will be destroyed. Are you ready? <coughs> 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 yeah, I'm ready now. <laughs> Are you ready, Cleo? As ready as I ever will be, Karam. Let's finish this. I don't know why I said your name like that. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, these are the final units. The final units is the final battle oh my god there's Grima right there expiration expiration <laughs> what have you got Pavis Anathemia Ignis and dragon skin nullifies the Valdi encounter and more than halves damage Ooh, eeks. Eek. are you the same as me 41 um, I didn't remember the rest Oh no, you're way better. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, everyone here's got like oh a lot of damage. Okay. It's fine. We don't need you two. We're gonna take um people. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take somebody. We're gonna take uh churching guys. That is not Gaius. <laughs> churching guys, come. Did I pick Kellum? What the frick? <laughs> what? Alright, um, Nor, why are you here? Get away. Um, I guess you can stay. Inigo is here, after all. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let's just, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're ready. We're ready for this. What is that? Purple spikes? Holy frick, we're all almost dead. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, what, ma what manner of magic? Uh. Magic. <laughs> oh, that was a dang catastrophe. He's weakened all of us. He's too strong. Uh. It cannot end like this. I won't have all our struggle be for naught. Now oh, the darkness, the future is upon us. Oh gods, for father. 
And so it ends, Cleo. See how frail these human bonds of yours are? How short-lived, how pointless. You've all thrown your lives away, and the result is the same. We're not dead yet. Details, details. But yes, I suppose it's time I got you all off my back, so to speak. Permanently. No. No, you don't want this, do you? You do have a choice, you know. It doesn't have to be this way. You can still save all your friends. Become one with me, and we shall spare their lives. Refuse, and watch as I rend the flesh from their bones. I... No, Cleo, don't do it. She's lying. It's a trap. No, I will have your decision. Will you save these worms? Will you join me and become a god? Wow, I don't even remember this part. But no, not today, sucker. <laughs> As you think me a fool, you'll kill them anyway. Well, of course I would. I only thought you might want to leave your comrades with a heroic, selfless image. But so be it. Leave them with the final memory that you were their undoing. Uh, Cleo! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, SpaghettiOs! <laughs> I take it back. Where am I? Where am I? Yes. Where your god wills you to be. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some fleas on my back to take care of. No, I won't let you. You still dare resist me. Then perhaps I should end you first. Uh-oh. Wait, but if you end me, will you end yourself? <laughs> so dark. A sea of black. I have no final strategy. No cards left to play. She has... One. Uh, I can't see. I can't hear. I feel nothing. Dots. Nothing. Dots. To attack. Dots. Huh? You have five bag thing. <laughs> I hear something. A voice. Fight back! You have to keep going! Fight back! Fight back, Cleo! You swore to do so, remember? Now keep your dang word! <laughs> Crom. It's yelling at me again. God dang it. <laughs> Five more minutes, Crom. Crom. Crom, I can hear you. What? what? No, you are mine now. The dragon's grip cannot be broken. I know it would take more than this to stop you, milady. Ah, oh, Freddy! Up and at him, Cleo. One dragon ought to be a piece of cake. Minerva wants you back, and so do I. I need you to. I need you to come on back. You hear? Heed not the Dark's eerie call, friend. Friend, friend, friend. <laughs> Heed not the Dark's eerie call, friend. Summon forth the strength inside you. I can think of nothing worse than dying alone. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't. Come on, bud. No giving up now. Come on, you can do this. You need to fight with us. If you don't come back, I'm never going to forgive you. 
We lost to the Fell Dragon once. Do not grant fate a second victory. Mother, you mean everything to me. I can't lose you again. Please win. You're going to be okay, right? I need you to keep me safe. Your victory is clear. It is inconceivable that our rollicking adventures might end at this juncture. Stay strong. Blood and thunder, return to us now. I can hear them. I hear my friends. Stop this at once. Silence those wretched voices. Damn you are you. Pow powerless, frail, insignificant. You are nothing. Come Return on. to us, Cleo. Your bond with us is even stronger than the fell dragon's might. Crom. I'm coming, Crom. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Children of man, take my power. Rise now and face the fell dragon. Okay, dope. Thanks, Naga. Can we kill this man now? <laughs> We done being sappy? Are there people behind us? Oh, mother effer. <laughs> okay. You get with Churchy. Frederick, you with me. Morgan, you with Grom. <laughs> um. Oh my god, I took Lawrence. God dang it. I never mean to take him. I never mean to take Lauren. Oh my god. Whatever. At least he has magic on him if I do ever want to use him. Nor with Inigo. Yarn with Brady, because why not, I guess. You with Jerome. And, uh, Owain with Inigo. Alright, let's go. Let's go get them. Let's go get them all. Alright, enemy phase! Enemy phase! Oh no, they're coming for us! They're coming for us! Oh no, those are gonna be where reinforcements come in, aren't they? Oh, buddy, I don't like that. Ooh. Is everyone ready? <laughs> this seems like a lot. Alright. Some of us need to cut ahead and some of us need to stay behind. Uh, Morgan? Yeah. Go for it, Jerome and Cynthia. Easy peasy. Dead. That sure was easy peasy. Mm, well, I do have a worm slayer. Let's just hope we don't get hurt. He has a 100% chance to hit us. That's not good. Hey, Churchy, screw your 100%. I missed, but it's okay because Churchy did it. Thank you, Churchy. Oh, look at that. We both leveled up. Double leveled up. Double level up. Adorable. Got to level 19. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. Level up for Churchy. Level 12. Oh, you're only level 12. Why? <laughs> Why did I bring you? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. The rest of you, go down. Oh, I hear the angels singing. You're gonna die. I like this music. It's so dramatic. Okay. Dead. I should probably throw a Donald with them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's throw a Donald with them. Oh, wait, I'm the different. Um, Donald. Did I put Nor with you? I did. I did. And I put Owain with Inigo, and I didn't even question it, did I? <laughs> I didn't even question it! <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, whatever. Physic. Thank you, Brady. Oh, boy. Okay. 
Yeah. This isn't gonna hurt. Ouch. You know, it's not nice to attack people multiple times. Uh, a few. It's fine, we still got Churchy. Oh, okay, we don't have Churchy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, yeah, lift a fight, whatever. Get off the back. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't notice how many bow people there were! Do you have a bow, too? Uh-oh. Oh! In your face! You piece of garbage. Okay, can we get rid of all the bow people? I didn't even notice that there were so many. <laughs> I did not notice how many bow people there were. Oh, Brady's about to die. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I've got the killing edge. Morgan is gonna kill everybody over here. Checkmate! Not dead yet, but you will be. Amateur. Oh, Crit Luna, you didn't need that, but cool. I mean, you could've used that in the beginning. But whatever. Whatever. Kill this man, Yarn. Whew. I was hoping to use Brady a little longer, but... It's understandable he can't take all this. So release the bunny! You're dead. <laughs> Brady killed him off camera. There's a lot of there's a lot of nos a lot of nopes here. I'm not sure how much I like that. Okay, let's kill this man. You're dead. Okay, great. What are we doing? Hear my words, Awakener. Grima's servants will beset you to no end. Dispatch him as soon as you are able. Once the fell one is weakened, a choice will await you. If Krom lets the final blow, Grima shall survive but return to his slumber. So be it. If Cleo strikes in Krom's stead, both her life and Grima's are forever over. Only oh, nice poem there. <laughs> Only in this way may the fell dragon be destroyed for good and all. That's the final decision is yours. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's mine. Ooh, buddy, it's mine. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Let's hurry up and make our way up there. Oh god. Oh, frick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just Jerome. They're fine. Cynthia's next. <laughs> Cynthia's next. Ah, frickin' mother effers! Ah, why? Ah, frick, jays! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. This time, we'll all go up. Except for one of us. All right, all right, no more fooling around. We need every available good unit that we can get. Shelly, come on. Lucina, come on. Tiki, come on. Cynthia, you can stay. Okay. Lauren, get the frick out of here. <laughs> get the frick out of here, Lauren. You're not helping anyone. <laughs> Olivia. That's right, Olivia, you can come. You're not going to be much use for us, but... uh. We'll see. Are we gonna have to go through all that again? No. Come on. Come on. We already know. We already know. We already know. We're good. Let's defeat. Oh boy. Okay. You with Shelly. Frederick, this time I need you to protect me. And not let me die. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of enemies are coming in. Woo! Tons of enemies. We're gonna be fine. All right, Inigo, you get over there. You kill this man if you can. Thank you. Okay. Um, you're probably gonna die next turn. <laughs> That's fine. All right, you um, yeah, beast killer, this dude. Dead. Okay. Uh. Yeah, how about you just stay next to, uh, Olivia? Use a physic, why not? Okay, it's enemy time! Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> You're not gonna get Olivia. Okay, they got Olivia. <laughs> That's why I never use frickin' dancers. <laughs> Boy, we gotta press on. 
As much as I don't want to press on, we've got to press on. You're dead. Thank you. Okay. Brady? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, for, shut up. <laughs> Brady? Please? Thank you. Ah, how nice and peaceful. A little heal from Brady. We need to kill this guy. He's got a freaking... He's got a freaking, um... Physic. We don't want him healing. Uh, you wanna maybe help out? Yikes! Okay. Whatever, let's go. Let's go, Tiki. Do your best. Don't get hit. Great. <laughs> hey, thanks! Thank you, Cleo. Okay, he didn't die, but that's okay. Do you have a bow? Do you have a loving sword? I'm gonna kill you. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, look at that. Tiki leveled up. Good job, Tiki. Good job, Tiki. I miss being in the heat of battle like this. You're about to die, Tiki. I don't <laughs> I don't think you do really miss it, right? Oh frick. Hey, you aren't gonna get Brady today. Yarn, yarn, yarn. Thank you. That's teamwork. You ready to fly? <laughs> I heard that one. You flew pretty nicely. Good job, Brady. Oh, pff, you aren't gonna get her with her magic. None of you, none of you matter. None of you matter. You're all dead. Okay, alright, we're fine. We somehow survived all of that. Let us mend Tiki, because we don't want to lose her. Um, ooh. Yeah, let's go after you. Come on, Cleo, some nice teamwork again. Nice teamwork again. Let's do it. Uh, ouch. Well, at least he only hit her once. Instead of twice. Okay. Kill the sealer. We do not want him, Lucina. I challenge my fate, challenge my fate. dead. He got a miracle. <laughs> okay, well, you double died. <laughs> Up there looks a little scary, don't it? Okay, let me just, uh. Totally not cheating. <laughs> Totally not cheating. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna use this. And you're gonna go down. Pretty hard. Missed. I didn't get a crit like I was hoping, but whatever. Okay, Don will finish him off then. With a, uh, Ellie Woods blade, why not? <laughs> Soul, you didn't need it. But okay. <laughs> Ow. Now you needed it. Sorta. Great. Is he moving backwards a little bit from like the wind? That's just weird. That's just weird. Okay. Dead. 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 I'm gonna lose my axe. It's fine. I have other axes. <sighs> okay. I should not leave Tiki's side. I shouldn't. Micaiah's Pyre. Dead. Okay, we're gonna get more reinforcements, but they're down there, so we don't have to worry about them too much. They're gonna go after Sevra, and they're all gonna fail, because Sevra is amazing. And I have all of my trust in her. Okay. Alright, Mother Effers, who wants to die first? Oh, boy. Looks like you do. Careful. Careful is right. You missed, Freddy. But somehow you protected me from that, so thank you. Okay. We've opened up a hole. 
rally. Uh oh. Yikes. Yikes, skis. Oh, I didn't realize I entered her range. Okay, whatever. Silver's a sword. I was gonna say go for a crit, but you don't have any percentage uh, chance. You don't have any chance to get crit. Okay, cool. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mm. Attack. Go for it, Tiki. Turn into a dragon. Ouch. Thank you, me. Thank you, Cleo. Okay. Brady, get up there. Heal. Whew. Good thing we brought a healer. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear myself say that. Alright, get them. Get that guy, Cleo. I mean, Le Lucina and Morgan. You're dead. Okay, and you guys, you guys can take care of the, uh, the stragglers, right? Does Leaf's Blade, is Leaf's Blade the one that gets me money? I can't remember. I hope it is, because I like money. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is. I got money. <laughs> okay, uh, this looks dangerous. Just go for it, Severa. It's fine. You're gonna be fine, cause you're Severa. F you. You're dead. Cynthia got some XP, nice. Okay, it's all down there, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, they're all coming after Jerome and Cynthia, and as long as Jerome can handle it, they should be fine down there. Uh oh. I am Grima. I am Despair. Well, I am Ghost. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. What? Oh. Oh. Hi! Hello! Hello there, you're kinda cute! From this angle. Hello! Like a little snake. Like a little, little... Oh, thank you, Cleo. I don't know how that did no damage but to, any, to either of you, but... Oh god, frick. <laughs> Scary! <laughs> They're gonna miss. Ha! Ah, I knew it. Now you're nearly dead. And Tiki leveled up. Nice job, Tiki. You're nearly at your final level. I feel a little stronger. Yeah, just a little. Just a smidgen. They're all going after Tiki. What a bunch of losers. What a bunch of losers. Don't you have anything better to do? Hmm? Then pick on the dragon? Ouch. Keep nearly killing these guys. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so. There's one thing we have to make sure of, and that is uh, Cleo gets the final blow on um, Grima. It might take us a few blows, but Cleo needs to get the last one. I'm sorry, Krom. I can't fight. Not like this. Not like this. It's fine. Tiki, you did enough. You did plenty. Okay, yeah, 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 we don't need to see them. We don't need to see all those losers fighting Jerome and Severa. They're fine, they're fine. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, uh, Krom. You want to go first? <laughs> you want to go first? Might want to save. No. You know, just, just in case. I, I might want to save again. Save in the slot number two. <laughs> as well, you know, just just in case. Just just in case. Let's go. I come to end you, Grima. Arrogant mortal. I am the end. Okay, well, um uh oh. That did not go as planned. Let's just, uh, pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> you wanna try-
try it again. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna try it one more time? <laughs> I come to end you, Grima, arrogant mortal. I am the end. <laughs> yeah, this is the first try. First try. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, that didn't that didn't go as planned. Um, it's fine. You know, you just just sit back. Just sit back and w let the pros do it. Okay. Uh, Donald? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Lucina. Hmm? That might work. This might work. Hmm? I wow. I forgot she was gonna say something. Of, co of course she was gonna say something. I lost you once, monster. I shall not lose again. Die now that our future can live. You cannot slay what may never die. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 yada, 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 go get him. Go get him, kiddos. Uh, no damage, poor Morgan. Ah, you missed. And I got an Aether. I say when it ends. Ooh, thank you, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of good damage there, uh, Lucy. Let me just save again. <laughs> Look, this video is for entertainment purposes. I cannot afford to have the battle drag on for a million years, you know? Just just saying. Like it matters if I attack from anywhere. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, so that's not <laughs> That's not that great. <laughs> you wanna attack now, Krom? <laughs> I come to end you, Grima. Area mortal, I am the end. Hey, look at that, we got you that time. Ooh, you got me though. Frick. <laughs> Brady, Brady, Brady. Thank you. Thank you, Brady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. No, no, recover, yes. Use a recover. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Brady. Very useful. Very, very helpful. Okay, let's, um, should we go for it? I don't know. I don't, I don't freaking know. We just, we just slave, save and slot eight. <laughs> let's go. Return to me. Come, we are one and the same. Uh, I don't know about that. Get a crit or something, I don't know. <laughs> Let Frederick hit. I don't think Frederick will do any damage. Thank you, Freddy! Good lord, it might be hard to get the good ending. <laughs> I want to get that good ending! I like the good ending! It's the only ending I like! I'm getting it! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> well, that's fine. They're fine up there. They're fine up there. They're, we don't need to worry about them. Don't worry about them. We don't need to worry about these two down here either. Yikety yikes. Okay, let's just kill you then, shall we? Oh, <laughs> didn't even notice you, do you guys down there. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey! You're gonna miss though, right? Hey, could you not do that? That's my thing. Freddy? Freddy! Oh! You missed. Uh oh. Freddy? Freddy? Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, Freddy. Nicely done. Nicely done. Just hold off for a few more enemies, Freddy, because I'm sure they're all going to come after us. Oh, I'm scared. Freddy? Thank you. Ignis. If only I had soul. <laughs> You're dead. Crit Ignis. 186. If only I could do that against Freema! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Freddy? 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 Thank you! Thank you, Freddy! I love you! I love you, Freddy! Okay, holy frick! Got a crit! You're dead! Oh boy. Oh boy. Freddy? 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 Freddy! 
You let me die. <laughs> you let me die, Freddy. Why? <laughs> Load that right back up. Okay. Shh. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Woo! You got to max level again. Hey, it's better than the last one, so that's good. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody's dead. They're gonna be fine next turn. We'll just have to take down Screama a bit more slowly. Ah! Well, you know what? I'm just gonna skip all this and hope you guys all live. You know? Oh, freak, I guess I can't. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, missed. Ha! And you get hit. F you. And Morgan hits you for no damage. And Lucina gets a crit. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Lucina, you had one job. Not to kill Grima. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. You didn't die. Don't worry. Don't worry. You didn't die. That didn't happen. <laughs> I'm not even sure what happens if Lucina kills him. <laughs> I didn't think that was a freaking option. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? You know, we're gonna stand here. Just so you have the option to kill us. <laughs> okay. Alright. That was nearly good for us, though. You know, I liked that Lucina did some more damage, but then she did too much damage. She was a little too crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. What's your max level gonna look like this time, Donald? Hmm? Eh. Please, for the love of God, nothing bad happened to anybody. Oh god. Oh, freak. No, I'm not coming back to you. Freddy, protect me. Freddy, protect me. Freddy, protect me. Freddy, 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 please, Freddy, please, Freddy. <laughs> you did protect me, but at least you didn't get a crit, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Hopefully I live. I didn't live. <laughs> I didn't live. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna survive this. We're gonna get through it, I swear. What's your level up look like this time, Donald? Oh, great. <laughs> Brady. <laughs> you wanna sit here, Brady? You can sit there. You can sit there, Brady. I believe in you. <laughs> Maybe she'll take the bait. Since she doesn't wanna kill anyone else. Okay. For the love of the Lord, can we please get past this? <laughs> I knew you'd go after braiding yarn. Thank God. Ow! Hey, look at that! Oh. That was you getting the peppers. <laughs> you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't all attack Brady and think you're gonna win. Stupids. Stupids. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Nobody died, nobody died, nobody died. We're good. Phew! Woo! Brady got some more health, because Brady is awesome like that. Let me just save. Slave to slot 10. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Um, anyone wanna hit her? Uh, hit, that is. Not, not kill. Lucina? I'm trusting you not to kill her. Okay, this is the only weapon that can do any damage. I just want the 14 times 2, okay? That's all I want. Do not get any more than 14 times 2, please. No Aether, no other BS, no crits, just a regular for frickin' mother effer. <laughs> Lucina, <laughs> Lucina, <laughs> I'm starting to hate you. <laughs> Lucina, you're too good. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, what if... Morgan, can you do any damage? Wow, one. <laughs> Krom. Krom, would you like to maybe... Would you like to help out? Someone needs to kill this guy so he can get out of Shelly's way. Okay, thank you. Um, would you like to... Just get a little bit of, a, uh, of an attack on her? Please. Not nothing major. Nothing major. Just a small slice. I'm talking very small. Oh. Thank you. Ouch. That 
still hurt. That hurt quite a bit. I'm going to uh, heal Krom. Make sure I heal Krom and not some random person. Okay, alright, alright, we're good. We're good. Um, yeah, you still have quite a bit of health there, don't you? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna take this elixir and hope you don't kill me next turn. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there! Don't you worry. Don't you guys worry. We're getting there. Okay, yeah. Um, how about don't do that? Kill this guy instead. Take out your aggressions on some other people. Okay, um... Alright, kill this guy. And you kill these guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. More people coming from over there. Nope, nope, we're fine. We're fine. You're not gonna hurt. Oh, you're gonna hurt. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you missed. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Suck it. Okay, alright. We're gonna be fine. We're all gonna be fine. We're all gonna be fine. Okay, see that? See that? We lived another turn. <laughs> we, <laughs> we survived. Save. Slot 10. We're getting there. We are so close to getting there. I'm gonna need you to either get the 21 or for her to get a Pavis. Please do not fail me. Mother effer. No, it hasn't. Please, Krom. Stop. <laughs> Krom. Krom, why? This was so easy when I was a kid. Come on, I did it first try. <laughs> and again, I wasn't on hard mode. <laughs> okay, can, can you please stop? <laughs> stop being so good and getting crits? Okay, silver sword times two. Come on, any go. I'm okay with that. That shouldn't be too much. Don't get a second crit, please. Okay, you got a soul, that's fine. Oh, thank god. Okay. Alright, thank you, Enigo. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, okay, that's a little... That was a little sketchy, but, um... Thank you. Um, I'm gonna enter now. With, uh, Micaiah's Pyre, I suppose. Don't miss, please. Return to me, come, we are one the same. Nah, how about no? Or how about yes? <laughs> Finally, I did it right. <laughs> Now, Cleo, this is our chance. I'm going to finish it. Wait a second, are you- No. <laughs> I did the final blow. No wonder this was easy for me as a kid. I had the option at the end. I didn't know that. No, it's my blow, you dunce. Cleo. Oh, Cleo! Wait, what? What? What are you doing? For once, I'm glad you and I are the same. Now, I can give my life to protect those I care for. You would not dare. I would, and I will. The evils you would visit on this world are unthinkable. In some ways, I... we share the blame. It's only right we meet our end together. No! Wrong thing.
<laughs> Oyo! No! Thank you, Krom. For everything. Tell the others. My last thoughts were of them. May we meet again in a better life. Leo, no! Ah, gods, no! <clears throat> Frick. The war has ended, my friends. Never again will the fell dragon trouble our world. I owe you far I owe you all far more than words can ever repay. Especially Cleo, who gave herself to save us all. To save the to save all the worlds to come. But poor Cleo! After everything she did for us no. Don't cry, Lissa. We'll see her again. I'm sure of it. Remember what Naga said? That Cleo would survive if our ties were strong enough. This isn't over. I believe Cleo is out there. Somewhere. And I'll find her. If it takes me the rest of my days, I'll find her. Freaking, how long? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're right, she has to be out there somewhere. And we'll find a way to bring her home. Even if we have to search every open field in this whole stupid world. I believe the same, my prince. Cleo is too strong to simply disappear. It falls to us to look after the realm until she returns. Cleo had dang well better come back. If that blasted dragon truly got her, I'll be the one breathing fire. She made a noble sacrifice, and I know my nobility. And I know Cleo shall return some shall someday return. Cleo's gotta be out there somewhere! <laughs> How do I know? Hey, you don't question the fake. Hmm. I can feel it too. Cleo is out there waiting for us. Though I surely will miss her in the meantime. Uh. While statistically unsubstained, I have what laymen might call a hunch. This hunch corroborates most of the statements made thus far. Uh. Cleo, I know you're out there. I know you're not gone. And no one knows more about being lost and found than me. I wish she could have stayed with us long enough to see me grow stronger. But all the more reason to work hard between now and her return. Now, if you, Sumia. She lives. I know it. Some people just aren't the dying sort. If Krom believes she's alright, then so do I. Maybe I can work out some new magic to bring her home. If she returns to us now, I might even consider making her tea. Myself. Do you hear that, Cleo? Me! Making tea! You should be honored. <laughs> Let us honor Cleo's regard for her Warren. She was a true Toggle. And a true Toggle would not leave family behind. I feel she's still out there. If Cleo's anything like me, she won't check out just because a job's done. Gotta collect on all the sweet rewards, right? Too many times now have I watched loved ones give their lives for me. I must hold on to faith that this time will be different. Or, oh, Cleo! <laughs> you daring to make Gregor celebrate alone? Gregor not rest until he drink you under the table, ha ha! <laughs> Cleo's not gone, she's just misplaced. I'll wait a thousand years for her if I have to. Naga has a way of sending a ray of light into even the dar the deepest darkness. May Cleo find that light, just as she became the light for us. Oh, she had better march back here and try again. Or I, so I only send people off on my terms, or in a casket. Okay, thanks oh. for that, Darsha. There will be one less set of eyes on me as I dance. It feels wrong. Please come back, Cleo. Please be out there somewhere. Oh. Minerva says she still feels Cleo is of this world. Also that she smells delicious. But that's neither here nor there. 
Hey, Cleo, everyone's dying to see you alive. <laughs> We're sick to death of death. That reminds me of a good one. Two risen, a wyvern, and a priest walk into a bar. We have won our future, but we are in debt to so many sad memories. I pray at least one of those sadnesses will yet be undone. I swear my life and blade to defend the future you have won, Cleo. If you hear me, if you can hear me, swear that you will help me do so. She did what she had to do. That's the mark of a true warrior. She'll be back. I'd bet my br- <laughs> I'd bet my sweet brown arse on it. Great. Bah, leave it to Cleo to take responsibility for all of us. If she cared for us that much, I hope she knows how we still need her. Thanks to you and the others, I was able to change. And I got more changing to do. I want you to see it. You've done so much for me and my all my many, many sisters. You're an extra special customer. I hope we meet again, Anna. I forgot you weren't with us. <laughs> I feel a soul, straight and true, pulsing in the darkness. The hero will return. No tears today. I know she'll be back. I just have to wait and try to smile. I won't cry. She'll be back. I know it. And in the meantime, I'll write the finest song about her that ever was. I am glad for our victory, but I wish it did not mean so sad a farewell. I still have so much to learn. Come back and teach me. Now I know what it really means to be a hero. But heroes always come back to fight again, don't they? Fool, why did you sacrifice yourself? I refuse to accept it. Return Cleo or face my wrath. She showed me that I have a future. That destiny can be defeated. We have to believe we can alter destiny once more and bring her back. Mother, you can't leave me now. Not like this. I still barely remember who my dad is. <laughs> I believe in you. Come back. Oh, this death. No more. Please, you've, you've got to come back. The world is vast and full of potential unexplored. I shall devote myself to discovering that art which might reunite us. No, oh, this, this is all wrong. She can't be dead. She's out there. We have to be patient and believe. This is all wrong. We can't just leave Cleo for dead. I'll wait for her. I'll wait until the end of time for her return. Cleo put others before herself. I'm going to see- <laughs> my headphones right off. <laughs> Cleo put others before herself. No one can question her character. But her work is not done. She's still needed here. Cleo has secured for us all the most precious gift, a future. Now it falls upon our shoulders to protect what was given. I vow to give my all to healing the damage this war has wrought upon the realm. When Cleo returns, I want her to see what her sacrifice brought. Cleo, if you can hear me, you will always have a place here with us. Remember that. Always. Always. Da, 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 da. Oh, this isn't the main theme. <laughs> Hey, look at that! Premonition, Invisible Ties, Three Turns, and There Are No Heroes. <laughs> hey, look at that! The Prologue, Verge of History, Turn 6, Heroes Cleo and Lisa. Alright, well while that scrolls, you know, you guys see my campaign. How well I did, you know, try to beat me if you can. I doubt you could. I'm the best Fire Emblem player that there ever was. Totally didn't cheat at all. There was no cheating here. Not none whatsoever. Anyway, um, <laughs> so this game, that ending, huh? Hmm. Everyone talking to you, telling you how much they miss you and how much you're gonna come back, and then you don't even come back. What kind of ending is that? Sad, isn't it? But great climax, great battle there, isn't it? I love that battle. Final battle makes it all worth it. Grima, you know, killing yourself and then f d fading away all sad and dramatic like. Very sad. Very sad indeed. Anyway, I love this game. This is my favorite Fire Emblem game that there is. Um, 
I think I already told you guys, guys that. I mean, for a while, I was kind of iffy. I'm like, I don't know if this is my favorite. It might be my second favorite, but no, no, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. It'll probably be my favorite till the end of time. Not only because it's the first Fire Emblem game that I've ever finished. Not the first one I played, that would be Shadow Dragon. <laughs> uh, not because it's the first Fire Emblem game that I've ever finished, but because it's also just so great. I mean, everything about it is just perfect, you know? And I think that might be because the people who made this game uh, believed it was going to be the last game that they would ever make of this series, anyway. Uh, they thought this was going to be the last Fire Emblem game. It was supposed to be the last Fire Emblem game, and I think it shows that, you know, like, you can tell. You can tell this was supposed to be their last, because they threw everything in it, you know? Up until Fire Emblem Awakening, there had never been another Fire Emblem game like Awakening. Of course, you know, you could say that about any Fire Emblem game, because they're all kind of different from each other. I mean, I guess the Game Boy Advance games are all kind of similar, because they all kind of look the same. But other than that, eh, you know, you know, many of the Fire Emblem games, they have their different little quirks. Uh, and, uh, cons and pros, you know, like, uh... Um... Three houses, for example, you can use the, uh... You can have that special, like, camera mode where you, uh... Where you're walking alongside your army in the field, and that's cool, though it confuses me, so I never use it. <laughs> I like the grid better, but still, cool little feature, um, that you can do in that game. Not to mention the whole, you know, you're a freaking teacher in a classroom, <laughs> teaching a class, <laughs> which are your units, and you can literally do pretty much anything you want with them. Um, like, Three Houses probably gives you the most freedom out of any other Fire Emblem games to do literally whatever you want and turn anyone into anything not that that would be good for everybody <laughs> um, but you know it's it's still cool much a lot of freedom in that game and the monastery itself is another thing that's kind of newish um, it reminds me of fates when they had the uh, the castle realm or whatever <laughs> you guys will see that when we go to uh, when we play fates next because that's next up uh, on the list of Fire Emblem games. Can't wait. Um, anyway. Hey, Hero and- Hero- Cleo and Frederick were the heroes on, um, the end game. That's nice. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of gimmicks in, um, in a bunch of Fire Emblem games, you know, that disappear in the next game. Like, uh... Well, I can't think of anything, but you know, you know what I mean. You, you all notice, all the Fire Emblem games are slightly different, uh, some are vastly different, but they all come down to the same premise. Oh, let's read these real quick! After Grima's defeat, Krom was officially welcomed as Ulysses' new exalt. Queen Soli rode far and wide to, <laughs> to catch all the Pokémon on his behalf. Her gallant and radiant figure, the envy of women everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Envy her! Victories, 133 battle, 133 victories. Averion returned home to Roseanne, where he was labeled a traitor <laughs> and a coward, <laughs> or else ignored entirely. <laughs> but a few well-placed well texts from his wife, Tharja, eventually brought the populace to their senses. <laughs> Thank you, Tharja. <laughs> Vake returned to the streets that raised him and was welcomed as a hero and brother to all. Still, he was no match for his wife, Olivia, whose modest but memorizing dances made her more popular by far. <laughs> Sorry, Vake. <laughs> Why does Vake remind me of a Final Fantasy character? I don't know. He just kind of looks- he has a look of a Final Fantasy character. <laughs> Stahl continued his service as an Ulyssian knight and led crucial missions, missions across the realm. His scatterbrained ga gaffes sometimes got on Pan's nerves, but the two still made a happy life together. Okay. <laughs> Good for you, Stahl. Poor Pan, only 56 victories. 
Kellum and Muriel. Muriel re oh God, 22 victories. <laughs> That's just sad. Muriel remained in the list, but would vanish for days at a time to pursue her studies. In her final years, this research led to a historic invention. Her husband's name has been lost to history. <laughs> no, Kellum! <laughs> Oft forgotten. Oh, man. Lonk returned to Regna Ferox and served as Basilio's right-hand man. Lissa decided to leave Ulystol and join her husband. Interesting. Strengthening the bond between the realms even further. Interesting. So she left Ulystol. No, I guess she doesn't have to be there since Krom is the exalt. Still, interesting. While continuing to study magic, Rickon realized how childish some of his actions had been. Behind closed doors, people whispered as to how he aged, while his wife, no way, never did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she's a manicate who dances. Gaius never lost his sweet tooth, though he ultimately returned to less savory enterprises. When her work in Roseanne was done, Churchy would return home and cook for her husband, much to his delight. Why, was she baking cakes every day or something? <laughs> oh, poor, poor Gregor. <laughs> with, his more, with his more epic battles behind him, Gregor soon sank into a life of excess. When his purse got light, he was said to work as a bodyguard to make ends meet. Oh. He only had one victory. He only went to two battles. <laughs> With his more epic battles. Yeah, his one, his one victory and his two battles behind him. <laughs> Many an unfortunate child found joy in the small orphanage Libra and his wife built after the war. Aw, huh. Sadly, Marybelle's sharp tongue, or Marybelle, sorry, <laughs> and proud attitude rubbed off on the tykes. Oh no, making them quite the handful. Well, oh well. <laughs> Henry settled down with Sumia, and turned out to be a surprisingly good father. Hey, nice! Their newborn daughter was enthralled by her mother's Pegasus and was soon begging for a place in the saddle. That one's cute. Twisted mind and made of flowers. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Sayri, Blade Princess. No, no one. Just six measly victories. After returning to Chonson, Sayri worked tirelessly with the other dynasts to secure a peaceful future for the Valmy's continent. She was occasionally seen visiting her brother Yenfei's grave. I was about to say, like, Yenfei's dead. What? <laughs> She's gonna visit her brother. <laughs> and Basilio. With Grima a done deed, Basilio returned to Ferox and applied himself to dethroning Flavia. <laughs> if his army of champions failed, he knew he could always wait for little Lucina to grow up and lend her a mask. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> After Grima was vanquished, Flavia returned home and did a marvelous job of whipping Regna Ferox back into shape. They say that each time a tournament drew close, she would ask Krom to lend his sword. <laughs> That's cheating. Come on, Flavia. <laughs> well, I guess it's not really cheating. But it kinda is. <laughs> Donald returned to his tiny village and built a happy life with his mother and his wife, Cordelia. I just dropped my pencil. The latter, however continued to train hard as a knight, and often answered the exalt's call. Poor Donald. Okay. Secret cellar. With nary a word, Anna left the others and returned to her free-spirited 
merchant life. She was later sighted across the continent, haggling with suppliers and beating down the cost of goods. Great. Special thanks to Kenji. Owain tried settling down in Yulise. I forgot he wasn't married, god dang it. <laughs> but ultimately set off on a lengthy quest to stay his sword hand. Oddball heroes matching his description continue to crop up in local legends to this day. <laughs> That's adorable. Inigo traveled the world ever ready with a smile or a sol solution when trouble started to brew. His services and performances were rewarded with the best currency, the joy and gratitude of others. Oh, nothing about women? Okay, flower picker. <laughs> Daunting priest and little miss. Brady left the pr left the priesthood to become the world's scariest violinist. <laughs> nah, who considers herself quite the singer, often accompanied him. The sheer volume of her strains was said to flatten audiences. <laughs> Great, a dragon and a and a violin and the scariest violinist. Okay, a dragon singer, singer, and the scariest violinist together. Cynthia never gave up, gave up on becoming a hero and traveled the land in the name of justice. While she impacted the world of comedy more than the world of legend, people still loved her for trying. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> You're a hero in my book, Cynthia. Best Pegasus Knight. Even though you're a dark flyer in my game, but whatever. Jerome and Minerva set out for Wyvern Valley. Wyvern Valley. Many saw the writer and mount through the years, though most described the man as distant and con contemplative. That's kind of sad. Sorry, Jerome. I wanted to get you and Cynthia together, but hey, it didn't work out. Why do we have a goal? Oh, we're getting to the top. The top people. Yay, Morgan's memory never returned. But he didn't seem to miss it much and lived happily with the Cena. <laughs> Later, scholars would speculate that he had come from a different future than the other children. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Sad, though, but oh, all right. Oh, I guess they just got medals and everyone else didn't. Okay, cool. Yarn des tried desperately to find a safe heaven after the haven after the battles were, battles were done, but even that journey was fraught with danger. Especially as Shelley insisted on facing every foe to better herself as a warrior. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, timid Togwell Yarn. <laughs> Longing to, his, to meet his mother's intellectual standards, Laurent took his wife on an expedition around the world. Sevra set out in search of treasure, but instead discovered something much, much greater. What? Love? A, a life? <laughs> oh, Miss Personality. Noor. Noor stayed with her mother after the war as her assistant. Was she simply trying to protect her infant self from Darja's curses? Or did Noor find solace with the woman who brought her into the world? I don't think we'll ever know. I don't think we'll ever know the answer to that. Alright, Tiki. Exhausted from the war, Tiki returned to the Divine Dragon Grounds and slept for several days. Afterward, she was said to come down and visit the people regularly. Hey, that's nice. Nice to have you back, Tiki, after your very long slumber. And whatnot. Oh. Oh, what's this? Are we... Come on, we don't know what... What What did Frederick do, hmm? Frederick? The end? What did Frederick do? <laughs> the end, my butt. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the end of the game, guys. 
guess it's time to, to say goodbye to Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, it was such a great game, you know? I could play it again. I could play it a million times. Mom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Welcome back. It's over now. <laughs> That's as loud as I can get. Ah, there he is! Uh, many wrote of Cleo's legendary exploits, but accounts of her origins and character varied. Scholars, poets, and bards agreed on one thing alone. She loved her husband, Frederick, above all else. Ah, that's right. What did Frederick do? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what Frederick did? <laughs> Cold Lieutenant. High Deliverer. We got a silver. That means we were second? Who was first? Morgan? I'm okay with that. <laughs> and third was Lucina. Alright. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, I told you, Lucina. What did I tell you? Stupid hubba tester didn't believe me either. St you all f didn't understand. You didn't understand. I told you. And Crom, get away from me. <laughs> I don't gotta fight in any more wars. Woo! That is the ending I love. The theater, unit gallery, and support log have been unblocked in the extras menu. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the support log for a long time, man. If I had the if I had the support log before I had I fought the everything. I could have gotten some more children married, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Champion has been added to the soundtrack options for challenges. The what? The what? Huh? Your avatar has been added to the avatar logbook. You can now use this avatar in other save files. Dope. Your renown, your renown upon clearing the game can be carried over into a new game. New game plus. If you have cleared the game more than once, the highest value will be used. Dope. Okay, well... That's the end. That's the end. Da, 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 da. That was Fire Emblem Awakening. It's a great game. If you haven't played it, you know, and you have the option to, then go play it, because it's a great game. <laughs> Whether you know the story or not, it's just a great game. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about it. This game's great. Wouldn't change it. I give it a 10 out of 10, a freaking 11 out of 10, a freaking a million out of 10. You know, it's a great game. One of my favorite games that I've ever played in my life. I have a ton of nostalgia for it, sure, but I say it's great. It's a wonderful game. And... That's all I gotta say about it. It's a fantastic game. Anyway, in the next episode, we will be going to uh, Fire Emblem Fates. Will we play Conquest or Birthright? This is your chance to guess. You got a 50-50 shot at getting it right. Anyway, we'll find out which one of those games we'll be playing in the next Fire Emblem series that I do. But for now, that is going to be it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next game. Bye! <laughs>